one, two, three, one, two, three. Emanuela Rabuya, es el nombre de la nueva candida. Emanuela Rosa Cándida, como te dicen ahí. Emanuela Rosa Cándida, como te dicen ahí. Emanuela Rosa Cándida, Oh, ah, no, no creo que es por, no, le he pagado la línea por eso. Evening. Ay, quiero ver por la ventana. Thank you. 
Okay, people, let's get started this evening. Welcome one more time. Oh, we're evening, going to... Okay, UK. Um, let's see, let me open the attendance list. Okay, Alison Andrea Serrano. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome. Carla Yasmin Rivera. Quien anda enojado tirando puertas. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Si no le dieron regalo, tranquilo, no importa. <ríe> Carlos Jonathan García. Hoy pues. Take it easy, Eric. Take it easy. Too much noise. Es que estoy guardando el vehículo en la cochera, perdón. <risa> ok. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Ok, welcome. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present, teacher. Ok. 
Eric Mauricio Cruz. <coughs> Present. Okay. Gilberto Benito Santa María. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Present teacher. Okay. Ah, José Andrés Martínez. Eh, Julio César Fabián. Present. Okay. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Okay. Ah, no, oh, oh, Omar Alexander Chávez. Present teacher. Good. Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. Present teacher, no sé si ya me había dicho. No, ahorita. Ok. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, the personal session is with you, Rosalina. Okay. Okay, teacher. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Good. Uh, Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present, teacher. Okay. Vladimir Alejandro García. Vladimir Alejandro García. Se le congeló. William Boris Roque. And William Rodrigo Ángel. Ya no apareció. Ok, people. Let's get started tonight. So, lo primero es lo primero. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Um, I know. A veces el concepto de amor se ha eh, distorsionado. Pero vale por la a, amor y la amistad. ¿no? Y es bueno eh, tener amigos y ser amigos. Y es que este es el día de recordar y agradecer la amistad. Y por supuesto, sí. Nuestros seres queridos, ¿verdad? Que amamos. Y que deben de ser nuestros amigos. ¿Ok? Y no sigo porque voy a echarme un discurso aquí. ¿Ya? Yeah. Very good. I hope you had chocolates at least. Or a cookie. Whatever. Now let's continue. Let's start working. Okay, at the end of this class, you will be able to. Well, nos quedamos con algo pendiente ayer. Ah, sí, con sus preguntas y respuestas. No, no, no terminamos bien. Les dije que íbamos a hacer más práctica hoy. Pero sí, tenemos algunos ejercicios por ahí. Para practicar. Well, at the end of this class, you will be able to use present continuous or temporary situations at the workplace. Okay? So, then, how many uses a present continuous has? A lot of uses. Okay. Está en la misma pantalla anterior. Ah. Mire, el destino los quiere mantener ahí en, <ríe> en Valentine. O sea, que es un sacrificio estar aquí en la clase y no andar allá cenando, celebrando. Pero bueno, ni modo, así es la vida de cruel. 
Ahora sí. Um, so, if you see, we use present continuous for different situations, okay? Yeah, habíamos visto that we can use present continuous for ongoing activities or ongoing actions. Or so, acciones que están sucediendo en el momento, no? Ongoing actions. And we can use present continuous also for future events. No, hemos visto que también no podemos usar el present continuous to talk about future events. Today we are going to learn that we can use present continuous to talk about temporary situations. Okay, temporary situations. Uh, let me give you an example. Luego vamos a profundizar, pero um, for example, if you say, I am studying English. Maybe uh, you talk to your co-workers or you talk to your family and you tell them, ah, these days I am studying English. Yeah. So, not in that moment, maybe you are talking to your co-worker in the morning. So, en la mañana, tú le estás diciendo a un compañero de trabajo, I am studying English. So, that is a temporary situation. It's not an action in that moment. So, in the morning, in that moment, you are not studying English. But temporarily, it's a situation that takes some time. Yeah? That you are studying English. It's not forever. No es para siempre. No es algo rutinario solamente. Pero uh, tú estás estudiando inglés. ¿no? Un evento temporal. Entonces a eso se refiere cuando hablamos de temporary situations. There are a couple of questions here. Let's see if they are interesting. Ah, for example, what are temporary activities you are doing at your workplace these days? Not only today, but these days. For example, these, this month. Okay. Hay alguna temporary activity that you are doing this month? Uh, maybe a preparing a project. Or, uh, I don't know, making yearly reports. Uh, what are some temporary activities you ad, are doing at your workplace these days? Can you give me uh, some examples or your answers? I sign, sign, signing payrolls these days. Okay, signing payrolls. Okay, Salvador says that he is signing payrolls these, these I, days. I work in temporary. No? I work in, in reposition container to Puerto Quetzal to Puerto Cajutla. Ah, okay. ¿Quién, ¿Quién dijo que estaba signing payrolls? Mi teacher, Andrés Martínez. Ah, Andrés. Ah, okay. Es que me apareció aquí la mano de Salvador. Creí que él lo había dicho. Okay. Y Salvador is um, working in the reposition of some containers. ¿Alguien más? Que nos cuente. What are you doing these days? Hey, Omar, enciende, apaga, enciende, apaga. Vamos, vamos. Sin miedo. I am, I am, walk, I am walking on the street of Guatemala uh, choosing warehouse. Ah, ah, okay. Are you in Guatemala now? Yes. Ah, okay. So, good. So, you are looking for a, where, a warehouse or 
You are looking for a building for a warehouse. Yes. Ah, ah okay. Nice. Alguien más que esté haciendo algo en estos días and at work, Gilberto? I work in Buy Products, Nicaragua. Ok. So, pudiéramos decir, yo estoy comprando productos de Nicaragua. Sí, yes. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo diríamos eso? I am buying products from Nicaragua. Yes. Okay. Can you repeat that, Gilberto? I am buying products. I am buying products in Nicaragua. Okay. Good. ¿Alguien más? Nobody else? Okay. Or some personal projects or some personal activities you are doing aparte de studying English because all of you are studying English these days. No, están haciendo nada, sí. <laughs> okay, very good, no problem. Now, um, let's take a look to this conversation, okay? Alguien escribió algo. Ah, uh, Edwin says, I am validating the dried fish production process. Ah, okay. Validating the process. Good. Let's take a look at this conversation. Déjame borrar todo esto. Ahorita no. No lo necesitamos. Okay, I'm going to read the conversation and record it here in WhatsApp for the first time. Let's see. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You're right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Good. Now, let me read it one more time. Pay attention. To the pronunciation and intonation, please. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. 
They help a lot. Okay, now let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hi, Long time no see. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? Hello, Hello Ever. Ever. What, what are, are you doing these days? Doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. That, that sounds great. Right. Right. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. I know. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. You are right. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Great. 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 Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Okay. Very good. Let's see. If you see, we have several sentences in present continuous. For example, what are you doing these days? I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. That sounds great, what I call coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course, this is the subject, is, train, is taking a training in England these days. I am studying on my own. I am reading novels to have better results. I am doing listening exercise. Okay, you see how many sentences we have there, okay? We have a lot. Sentences that talk about activities that they are not doing in that moment. They are talking, but it's a temporary, they are temporary activities that are, they are doing, okay? Because someday they are going to stop, right? For example, also, when we talk about our jobs, I am working for Inglés Corporativo these days. Yeah, it's not forever. Yeah, but these days I am working for Inglés Corporativo. Some of you are working for Galvanista, others are working for a, a security guards company, etc. So it's temporary. I mean, it's not forever. Someday you are going to stop working in that company or 
because you move to another company or because you retire. Okay, so we can call those also temporary activities. Okay, let's practice again. I am Ever and you are Beth. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. Hello, Ever. Hello, Ever. How are you doing today? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That, that sounds, sounds great. great. What, what a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is the center of the workplace this age. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Okay. Now let's switch. You are ever and I am bad. You begin. One, two, three. Hi, Beth. Long time to see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I am working on a new project. I am. I am taking an English course this day. How about you? How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence! I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. Basic day. day. You're right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. A lot. Okay. Very good. So, we are going to work in groups to practice the conversation. And then I want you to discuss the these questions what are some of the things ever and beth are doing these days and what things do you have in common with the people in the conversation two questions to discuss let's see Mm, let me just confirm who is only listening. Raul and Carla. Bueno, solo Raul y Carla y pa Carla. If you start the listening, para mi ayuda. Okay, entonces Raul está de oyente solamente. Vamos a hacer. Veamos. Ah, perfecto. Ay, no. Bien, solo me queda un grupo de tres. Okay, join your groups, please. Practice the conversation. Discuss the, the given questions and see you in around 10 minutes.
Okay, welcome back. Are you ready to present the conversation? Well, let's do it. Let's see. Okay, let's start with Rosalina and Virginia, please. Uh, okay. I bit long time no, no see how are, how are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? Um, I am okay with I am working a new project and also I am taking an English co course these days. What about you? Mm -hmm. That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know a choir uh, with complete the course is taking a training in England mm -hmm. in the days. You are right. I am studying on my home. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. And great, great. Well, I am done listening. Ex, exercise. They help a lot. Okay, thank you. Now, please, Alison and Daniel. Hi, Beth. Long time. No, no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How, ab how about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English. Is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague, a colleague will complete the course is taking and training in England this day. You are right. I am starting on my own. You know, I am ready now to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay, thank you. Now, please, Julio and Salvador. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Evelyn. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am talking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I, I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a calling to complete the course is taking and training in English this day. You are right. I am starting on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. 
glad. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay. Thank you. Edwin and Gilberto, please. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course, English essential in the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am studying in my own. You know, I am reading novel to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Okay. Thank you. Now, Andres and Noe, please. Okay. okay. Yeah, no sé si who start or me. I don't know, you start or me. Yo. Ah, okay. Okay. Hi, okay. Beth. Long time. No, no, see. Sí. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. Well, a coincidence. I also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. I call it who completes the course is taking a training in England, England, these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am do doing listening uh, exercises. They help a lot. Okay. Thank you. And finally, Jennifer and Omar. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? I'm okay. Well, I work in on a new project and also I'm taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds right. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know a college who completed the course is taking a training in England this day. True. You're right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am writing novels to have better results. Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah. no lo tomen como regaño lo que les voy a decir pero me da la impresión de que no están escuchando las conversaciones que les dejo grabadas en whatsapp me da la impresión que algunos, no todos algunos no lo están haciendo eh Entiendo que pasan ocupados en el trabajo, pero es importante porque no va a haber otra forma de mejorar su pronunciación. 
y me están cometiendo errores de pronunciación de cosas que ya vimos. ¿Verdad? Palabras que ya les expliqué hasta dos veces en diferentes conversaciones. Eh, y esto obviamente no se aprende de memorizar una palabra. Sino de que en nuestro, mire, el cerebro es como, ay, digo, porque no sé cuántos de ustedes reconocerán un, un disco de los de vinilo, de los negros de antes, donde eh, se grababa la música, pero se hacían surcos, ¿verdad? A fuerza de repetición. En el cerebro eso pasa, a la manera, a la medida que usted escuche, 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 escuche algo, se va a ir creando una, un, digámoslo así, un surco, donde ya luego automáticamente ya las conexiones cerebrales estarán para recordar ese sonido. Recordar esa palabra. Así es como hemos aprendido nuestro idioma nativo. Así es como tenemos el acento que tenemos. Así es como lo, los salvadoreños tendemos a usar la J en vez de la S. ¿Verdad? De tanto escuchar a todo mundo hablar así. Por eso es que a veces un salvadoreño que viene de, de Estados Unidos ya se le olvida hablar ¿verdad? español y viene diciendo oh, el vas a veces uno diría oh, que creído, no, lo que pasa es que se quedan grabadas pues las cosas en el cerebro o sea, no hay otra manera y, y no se trata de hacer una lista de palabras ¿verdad? Y, sino de escuchar cosas constantemente, ¿verdad? la misma conversación muchas veces eh, por eso les he dicho eh, que si van a ver algo en, en televisión en inglés, busquen cosas cortas que las puedan ver 100 veces. A, a medida que se les quede grabado en su cerebro esas palabras, esa pronunciación, ese acento. No hay otra forma. De acuerdo. Para algunos tal vez les sea más fácil que a otros. Eso es. Eso es natural. Es decir, a unos unas 10 repeticiones va a ser suficiente. Otro le va a tocar escucharlo 100 veces. Pero se puede. No, y no es cuestión de que aparten dos horas. Es cuestión de que ese mismo audio. A veces hasta inconscientemente lo anden escuchando. Para eh, que se vayan haciendo esas conexiones en el cerebro. Porque la buena pronunciación no viene de otra forma. No, no, no viene de que aprendamos reglas, ¿verdad? Mire, la O después de tal letra suena así. La A después de tal letra suena así. Entre tales letras suena así. Eh, eh, ninguno hemos aprendido a hablar así, ¿va? Ninguno sino por simple repetición. Así es que eh, lo que sea que escuchen para, para tratar de aprender, escúchenlo docenas de veces. No pretendan, ah, mire, tengo 100 audios para escuchar. No pase a otro hasta que usted no... no no conecte ya inmediatamente en su cerebro lo que viene, lo que ya se aprenda casi que de memoria. Se ha fijado la gente que vio una película varias veces, que hay partes de la película que ya de memoria la, se la sabe y sabe decir qué es lo que va a decir el actor, qué es la frase que viene. De tanto verla. ¿Verdad? Así es que háganlo. Decir no. No para que mejore su pronunciación yo no, no soy gringo pero eh, eh, es decir tampoco se trata de que van a tener mi pronunciación por eso les digo por lo menos esas conversaciones 
y en otras cosas que ustedes escuchen, escuchen una canción. Escuchen cien veces. La misma. Ya. No es que anden escuchando música en inglés para divertirse. No, están escuchando música en inglés para aprender. Entonces no tienen que andar escuchando diez discos. ¿Verdad? O diez álbumes. No, una canción. ¿De acuerdo? Porque estamos cometiendo el mismo error que ya se corrige, que ya se les expresó. Veamos, por ejemplo, imagínense la palabra que más tengo acá marcada, con más dificultad. Que en la cual la más, más veces se equivocaron. Siete personas. A ver, no, cinco, seis. Esta que ya se las había mencionado. Colleague. Colleague. Esa es la pronunciación. ¿Ok? Colleague. ¿De acuerdo? Um, otra que es. Es esta. Tengo varias, varias marcas. Exercises. Exercises. Exercise. Yeah. Exactly. Esa I, esa I, exercise. Okay. Um, de ahí, voy a enfocarme nada más en las que tienen más cheques. Result. Result. Sí, los que la mayoría que las equivocaron de, decían result o result. No, es result. Result. Okay. Y la otra. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Ah. Completed. Completed. ¿Ya? Exacto. Completed. ¿Ok? Completed. Completed. Y ahí un par en, con taking. No confundamos taking con talking. Talking llevó, llevó una L acá. Talking. ¿verdad? Este es taking. Repito, no lo confundamos con. Esto es talking. Talking. Esto es. Taking. Taking. Ya. Talking. Taking. Ok. Bien. Taking. Kali completed results exercise. Taking Kali completed result exercises. Ok. Muy bien. Um, Recuerden que estos cursos no son, bueno, son, son fáciles de aprobar. Porque usted hace las tareas hasta que tenga buena nota y ya, apruebe el módulo. Pero usted no está aquí para aprobar módulos. Usted está aquí para aprender. ¿Verdad? Para aprender. Obvio que cambiar nuestra pronunciación a un acento y pronunciación en inglés nos va a costar. No somos niños. A los niños les cuesta menos. A nosotros ya mayores nos va a costar más. Pero se puede. Es cuestión de practice, 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 practice. ¿Ok? Well. Then. Um, we have these two questions. What are some of the things Sever and Beth are doing these days? 
Okay, what are Ever and Beth doing these days? Can you can you tell me? Working in a new project. Working on a new project. Okay. Taking an English course. Taking an English course. Uh huh. He's reading an English course. Reading novels to have. Reading novels reading to novels. have better results. Uh -huh. Taking a training in England. Taking a training in England. Bueno, este, un, co un colega de Ever is taking the training. Pero bueno. Beck is studying in in na in in in, in oh, on. Okay, studying. Beth is studying on my own. Okay, yeah. on ah, muy bien. Cuando yo digo Beth está estudiando por su cuenta <laughs> on her own. Ya, her correcto. Own. El el my tiene que cambiar a her. Okay. ¿Verdad? Cuando yo soy el que estoy hablando de ella. Uh, Beth is studying on her own. On her own significa por su cuenta. Ok. And ever. He's is... doing listening exercise. Uh -huh. He's doing listening exercise. Okay. Only one question. What is the meaning of long time no see? Tiempo de no verte. Tiempo, exacto. Tiempo de no verte, ¿no? Uh -huh. Esa es la idea, ¿no? Que tiene tiempo de no ver a alguien. Okay. Any question with the conversation? No, teacher. No. Perfect. Um, okay. Is there something that you have in common with Ever and Beth? Yeah, teacher. Uh -huh. What? I am studying <laughs> English. Ah. Mm -hmm. I study on my own English. Okay. I watch movies in Netflix in English. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Good. Very good. Yeah, actually, all of you are studying English, okay? Okay, good. Now, we are going to see how to use present continuous for temporary situations. Use the present continuous for temporary situations. The expressions these days and at the moment are often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Okay. For example, I am reading a new book these days. This is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. The meeting will finish sooner or later. Okay? Sooner or later. Do you know what is the meaning of sooner or later? Tarde o temprano. Tarde o temprano. Tarde o temprano. Mm -hmm. Tarde. 
como lo diríamos nosotros, es tarde o temprano. ¿Verdad? En inglés, they say sooner or later. Muy bien. We are taking an English course. It's a temporary activity. The course will end. Y el curso va a terminar. Okay. So, we, we use present continuous for temporary situations. No solo para las cosas que estamos haciendo en el momento, sino para actividades que estamos haciendo eh, continuamente durante algún periodo de tiempo. Um, make a list of some temporary events that you are doing these days. I don't know. I, for example, I could say, you could say, I am working at ASI these days. My daughter is working in a call center. My wife well, is, no, estos no son acerca de mí. Mejor, uh, borremos esto. Primero, uh, primero hagamos esto. Look at this conversation as a model. Yeah. Tomen esta conversación como una idea. No solo. Eh, como les dijera. No es que solo la, que la hagan igual. La idea es similar. Not equal. Similar. Okay. You have to prepare a conversation. In, in groups so of two or three people where you talk about at least two or three activities that you are doing these days at work or personal activities or with your family, two or three activities that you are doing temporarily these days okay so you can start with a conversation like this hello uh, carlos how are you what are you doing these days hey entonces el otro dice oh okay i am doing this i am doing that estoy haciendo eso estoy haciendo aquí. how about you Oh, yo estoy haciendo esto, yo estoy haciendo esto, etc. Ok, y por ahí pueden seguir un poco la conversación. Ok, créenla, prepárenla, practíquenla, and then you are going to present your conversation. Ok, está claro lo que van a hacer. Yes, teacher. Ok, teacher. Very good. Let me form new groups for this. <clears throat> bueno, en teoría están todos de tres, solo que hay un par que nunca entra. Así es que bueno. Por lo menos no están juntos. Quizás algunos van a quedar de dos por eso. Okay, join your groups, please, and prepare your conversation.
hablar sobre las clases de inglés que está tomando. Eh, yo no sé si está bien decirlo así, pero eh, diría como, well, I had a job interview. Está bien. In this day. I have. Ajá, como que tuve, o sea, no mañana. O podría cambiarlo como que, well, I have como... a job interview in the morning. Como estamos hablando en, en presente continuo. Ay, sí, cierto. Ajá. Javi. Like, I am... I am having... And also um, taking, taking dance class, dance class, dance class. Okay. Entonces, en la pregunta mía, how about you? Carlos, uh -huh. ahí viene Carlos, responde, a ver. The weather is hot, very hot, just such is San Miguel, such is San Miguel. What are you doing this day? That's great, wow. I, no, sería yo. What are you doing these days? Ah, pues pregúntame vos, güey. Sí, sí, sí. What I, are you doing? I work, in, I work in, in my business. Where you, uh, quiero ver, where, what about you? Ahí sí te pregunté. Well, I, I, in my case, this week, I'm singing many papers. Oh, that sounds good. And you, Mark, what are you doing this day? I'm working shoes in warehouse in Guatemala. Andre. I am working. So, ella son sonate. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Sería después de, lo, de, de este párrafo que acaba de caer ahí, ahorita. Ahí en el chat. Sí. Pero creo que él no lo ha podido ver. Se la voy a enviar. No, a él, ajá, pero... los anteriores no. Ajá, cabal. Las anteriores no. No las, pues, no las va a poder ver. Para que lo tenga como nosotros. Uh -huh.
Okay, people, are you ready? Yes. Very good. Okay, what group wants to start? Hey, hey, take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> uh -huh. No volunteers? Yeah. Yeah. There is Andres. Okay. Andres says we can do it. Okay, my partners. Y sus compañeros ganas de apedrearlo. Hey, no problem. <laughs> okay, Andres, Daniel, and Omar. Ready? Yeah, we are ready. Okay. Everybody say lights, camera, action. Hey, Daniel. Hi. How is the weather in San Miguel? <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> the weather is hot. So is San Miguel. And what are you doing these days? I'm working in my business. Where are you? What about you? Well, in my case, I singing some payrolls. Oh, that sounds good. And you, Mark, where are you doing this day? I'm working shoes in warehouse in Guatemala. Andres, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Well, I buy in some rolls and a chocolate box for my wife this day. Sounds great. Finish. Finish. Ah, okay. Okay. Very good. Let's everybody please a virtual applause here. Applause to you. Congratulations. Okay. So ah Esmeralda Ray. <laughs> <laughs> and Esmeralda has raised her hand. <laughs> okay, good. ¿Quién dijo miedo? No fear. Okay, Edwin, Julio, and Esmeralda, go ahead. Thank you. And we say light, camera, action. Hello, Rosalina and Edwin, as they are. Hello, Julio, I am great, thanks. Hi, Julio, I'm doing good, relaxing after a hard work day. That's great. After a long day, it is good to relax. That are you doing in this day? Well, I am having a job interviews in the morning at 10 o'clock. That's great, Esmeralda. I'm studying other language in the night. In what are you doing these days, Julio? Well, I am working on superior warranty report and my work. That's it, teacher. Okay. No, 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 have a tiempo. Okay, applause to you. Very good. Congratulations, nice job. Okay, next. We only have two more groups. Alison, Gilberto, and Jennifer. Or... T-shirt. Uh-huh. Pero es que mire, don Gilberto entró dos minutos, tres minutos antes, entonces medio le contamos nuestra conversación, pero no lo logramos como involucrar. 
Ah, sí, es que ya tarde me di cuenta que estaba solo, Gilberto, no me dice nada. No, me avisó. Y ya cuando lo vi ahí solito, dije, bueno, mandémoslo acá. Ok, pero basta con que al final alguien le pregunte, hey, Gilberto, what are you doing these days? Okay. Yo estaba pensando hacer eso. <risa> Perfecto. Y ahí Gilberto nos cuenta qué está haciendo estos días. Ok. okay. So, light, camera, action. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to see you. How are you? Hello, Alison. What are you doing these days? I'm fine. I'm working in Sonsonate. In the cashier, are, and you? I'm fine too. I'm studying, I'm working. I've been went moving from the area. I was working in Soyapango, and right now I'm sent to San Salvador. That sounds great. And you, Gilberto? Microphone, Gilberto. I am working busy clients son sonate there's days. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and finally uh, Carlos Salvador and Virginia. Okay. Well, we say light, camera, action. Hi, Carlos. Long, long time no see. How are you? Hi, Virginia. Very well. Thanks. And you? I fine. Thank you. Oh, hi, Salvador. Hi, my friends. What are you doing these days, Virginia? I am working on the fiscal year reports and also I am taking dance class. Hot about you, hot about you, Salvador. That sounds great, Virginia. What a coincidence. I am also taking dance class. How about you, Carlos? Great. I am taking an English course. Very well. Have Thank a good day. Thank you. Good day. Goodbye. Okay. Very good. Very good. Applause to you too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, great. So, uh, we use present continuous, but just remember, this is about continuous action during a period of time. Okay? So, I am taking uh, an English course. So that takes some day, one month, two months, three months. So, but it's a continuous action during a period, period of time, okay? Uh, so you are working on a project, so, or you are uh, <clears throat> planning, I don't know, your vacations, you are planning your vacations or you are uh, what, uh, reading a book. So it's a continuous action during a period of time, okay? So it's algo que estamos haciendo varios días. Varios días, okay, o meses o semanas, que no es para siempre, ¿no? Eh, esa, es, esa es la idea, ¿ya? 
speaking Spanish. So, estoy trabajando para tal compañía, estoy estudiando tal, tal carrera, estoy eh, eh, saliendo a correr, estoy tomando clases de natación, estoy... So, this is the, the present continuous for temporary activity that, that we are doing on a period of time. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. Well, uh, let me give you a couple of exercises to... Hmm. Practice. Oh, okay. To practice um, present continuous in general, okay? To practice this structure, just let me check this link. Yes, this is for questions. Because yesterday we studied questions. Please go to this exercise. There you have it. Oh, yeah. I will also share this in WhatsApp. <clears throat> okay, the exercise is this. Look at this picture. We have Evan, Cindy, Grandma Sue, Baby Ben, Dad, and the dog, Yuso. The idea is to make questions about the picture and then answer the question. Okay, so you have the the key the key words here. So, for example, what Evan wear. The question is, what is Evan wearing? Evan, what is Evan wearing? He's wearing trousers. He's wearing trousers. Okay. Trousers is uh, another word for pants. So you see, you have to make the question. And according to the picture, respond the question. Okay? Okay. Work on that, please. To practice. We have, well, we only have five minutes. If you finish, you can raise your hand.
I'm going to take the last attendant, okay? Uh, Alison Andrea Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, Carla Yasmin Rivera. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present, good night. Good night. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present. Gilberto Benito Santa María. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Present teacher, good night. Okay, good night. José Andrés Martínez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Julio César Fabián. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Noé, Noé, Noé. Fue. Eh, Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. Omar Alexander Chávez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. <coughs> Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Ok. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Vladimir Alejandro García. Eh, William Boris Roque. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. And William Rodrigo Anne. Okay, people. That's all for today. Have a good night. And see you tomorrow. Please complete unit three. You have to complete unit three, okay? Okay, teacher. Bye bye. Thank good night. Bye. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Rosaline. Ok, teacher. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Eh, sí. Hice la plataforma y, bueno, aparecía que ya había terminado toda la plataforma, pero quisiera estar segura de eso. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, yo creo que sí. Claro. Claro, seguramente. Revisaste ahí donde, donde dice progreso. Ajá, sí, donde me sale también como una gráfica. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y me salía 100%. Sí, ya, sí, incluso ya puse tu nota. Uh -huh. Completo. Ah, okay. ok, teacher. Y estaba haciendo lo del link que nos mandó. Pero no entiendo por qué me tiran las preguntas eh, incorrectas. Porque, ah, por ejemplo... compartir pantalla? Ajá. Quiero ver... Sería dirección de sitio web, ¿verdad? Compartir pantalla. Mm. Pero... Mm. 
Sí, ¿verdad? No sé. ¿Estás no. en teléfono? Sí. Ah, ok. Sí se puede, pero... Déjame pero es un poco más difícil, yo. ¿verdad? Yo te la comparto y me dices ahí. O sea. Ok. Podemos incluso resolver. Vaya, ¿cómo? Ah, vaya. Eh, me salieron buenas, pero solo la cómo formulé las preguntas, pero no las respuestas. Por ejemplo, en la primera yo le puse, what is that drinking? Y en la respuesta puse, he's drinking a coffee. Ah, esa. Esa debe ser. He's Sería, he's drinking coffee. Coffee. Ah, pero en la número 5 yo puse who is sleeping usel is sleeping y me la tomó como en el mala que es el perrito usel Ajá. y me la tomó mala también tuve mal a las seis, donde dice, eh, yo le puse, where is Usel sleep, sleeping? Y luego puse en la respuesta, Usel sleeping on the, on the carpet. Sleeping. On the carpet. Mm. Otra palabra. Es que carpet se llama cuando es una alfombra completa. Ah. Todo. ¿Verdad? Ah, entonces por eso este me la es, Este es, Tal vez. Ah. Estas se llaman rug. Rug, ah, ok. Pero no rug. sé si, si así la habrán puesto. Porque a veces esto es que. A veces usan. Hay varias palabras, pues. O hay varias formas de responder esto, ¿no? Is ah. sleeping on the carp, on the rug. Algunos a esto le dicen mat. Mm. Um, o puede ser que el que hizo el ejercicio haya puesto is sleeping in the living room. ¿Verdad? Ah. O, o is sleeping in front of the chimney. Porque dice where, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, si se presta a varias posibles respuestas, así como el que lo puso el ejercicio, puso la suya, ¿no? Correcto. Sí, por eso la, la, me la pone como mala, ¿verdad? A veces cuesta encontrar. Vamos a ver qué, qué dice de esas que hemos puesto. Uy, toda la... Sí. <risa> Todas las puso malas, nena. Pero si no está mal, ah, puede... mi respuesta o sí. No, es también, te digo, de, es un poco caprichoso porque depende de lo que. Mm. Por ejemplo, aquí puede ser que él haya puesto dad is drinking coffee, o puede ser que lo haya escrito separado, esto y no así contractado. Ah, he is. Puede ser, no sé, ¿verdad? Entonces, Ajá. a veces cuesta pegarle a lo que ellos exactamente han puesto. Ah. Porque usualmente en este tipo de ejercicios uno debería de poner todas las posibles respuestas como una opción. Sí. Para que cuando el, la persona responda a alguna de esas posibles se la tome como buena, pero a veces los que lo programan solo ponen una y hay varias maneras de responder esto. Aquí pudiera sí. decir he is drinking coffee o dad sí. is drinking coffee. Sí, sí, sí. O a lo mejor imagínate que el que puso esto diga que esto no es café, sino que es té. O chocolate. Sí. O chocolate. Sí, es cierto. Pero la forma de la respuesta es correcta. 
Ah, ok, teacher. You sell is sleeping, también está bien. Es una respuesta válida. Mm -hmm. You sell is sleeping on the road, es, es correcto. Solo esas te, te dieron problema. Eh, todas. Todas las <ríe> respuestas. Sí, todas las respuestas me las ponía malas. Solo tuve buena la formulación de las preguntas de la 1, 2, 4, 5 y 7. Tuve dos malas, la 3 y la 6. A ver, ¿cómo, cómo pusiste la 3? Where is Evan sitting por el ING, pero no sé si, me, si está mal. ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo deletreas? ¿Cómo escribiste sitting? Eh, agregando ING. Así. Pero Así. con una T más. Ajá. Con doble no. T. Ah. Where is Ajá. Evan sitting? Ajá. Está, está bien. Es correcto. Y en la, quiero ver cuál es la tuve. Ah, pero seis, sí, en la seis sí la tengo. Ah, no, en la seis sí la tengo buena. Sí. Where is Usel sleep? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sleeping. Uh -huh. Sí, solo eso me dio problema. Y ahí todas las uh -huh. respuestas salían malas. No. Sí, eso es caprichoso a veces. Como te digo, depende de lo que haya puesto la persona que creó el ejercicio. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si yo te pregunto, who is playing with a ball? Uh, the, the baby is playing with a ball. Okay. What is Cindy doing? He's Doing the homework. Okay. He. Dijiste he. He's. Ah. <laughs> Sería. Care. Care is not given. Mm. She. She. Mm -hmm. She is doing the homework. Okay. What is Sue holding? The Sue, Sue, pardon. Sue is. So Sue is the. De no. sí, yeah. uh -huh. eh, la palabra, pero es como agarrar o tomar. Sí. Hold. Ah, hold. Hold. Sui is holding the, the cup. Ajá. Una respuesta válida. It's good. <laughs> no. That is good. No problem. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. Take Thank care. you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.